guys, how's everyone doing? I missed you all last week, but I've got some, uh, some, some again, I got some experiments. I think they're cool. Um, I've got six different things to do with you today. Um, the first one, I am going to make a snowball in this cup with, with just some water. So I'm going to pour in some plain water. And a chemical here, and I bought it at a Home Depot. It's very simple. It is, let's see, I don't know if you can see, it's from a company called Miracle Grow, and it says water storing crystals. And you can put these in. <laughs> You can put this into plants to uh, save water, but I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Here we go. This takes a little bit of time, so I'm going to do this first. I'm just going to pour this into the water. Can everyone see that? I'm going to mix it up. Okay, and we're just going to let it sit there for a, a, a minute or two while we make a snowball in the glass, okay? So we're gonna let that just kind of sit and you can watch it, okay? And we'll do that over time. So we'll, we'll come back to this in a little bit, right? You can see that there's still water in here, right? You can see I'm pouring it out. So just, we'll just sit and we'll watch this as it goes over, okay? So while that's sitting there, and sometimes science takes a little time, I'm gonna do a, another experiment. And this one is, we do it two different ways. So I wanna show you something. All right, so I have some water. This is just some cold water. I'm gonna fill this up. And then in my other, let's, oh, let me get this out of the way. Can everyone, can everyone see okay? Yeah, you see. Okay, and then here I'm gonna put some hot water. Okay, and you know me, I like food coloring, right? So, I'm gonna put some yellow dye in here. And some blue in here. Mix it up a little bit, make sure the color is. Just getting a napkin. Okay. So everyone knows, right? When we mix, what happens when we get blue and yellow? What color do we get? We get green, right? Yes. All right. So this is the first part of the experiment. And hopefully I won't make too big a mess and get into trouble. Okay. Just put a piece of plastic on this. I'm turn this over. Okay. But I'm making a mess out of it. Wait a second. Okay. We did this the other day, one of the other ones, and you can see the water doesn't come out. I'm going to put these one on top of the other. Okay. 
And I'm gonna slowly take out the plastic and we can see the two of them mixed together and we made, can you see that? Can everyone see it? That's, that's green? Green, oh, that's neat. Okay, so we made green and that, that's, it's okay, but not special. Now I'm gonna do the same thing and do one thing a little different to do with these two glasses. Okay, we're gonna put cold water over here. And the hot water over here. And we're gonna take one drop yellow and one drop blue. Okay. And we'll mix them up a little bit. Okay. And now what we're going to do is take this one Turn it over like we did in the last one. And line them up. Okay. So can you see we have blue on the bottom and yellow on top, right? And now I'm going to slowly take out the plastic. Okay, turn it so you can see it a little clearer. What color do we have? We don't, we have a little green here in the middle. In color. But on top, it stayed yellow. Let's see, can everyone see that? Yeah, it looks like on the bottom is blue, and in the middle, there's a tiny drip of green, and then on the top is yellow. Yeah. That's what happened. So in this one, the blue and the yellow made green. And in this one, the blue stayed on the bottom. Mm. Yellow stayed at the top. And we have a little bit of green at what's called the interface, at the middle. And the reason this happened, this is kind of cool. Remember, mm. remember? I said we had cold water and hot water. Well, the hot water is there's something called density. When hot water is lighter than the cold water. So when I put the cold water here on top, it was heavier and it mixed with the hot water and the colors mixed and it was. <laughs> But in this one, I put the hot water on top and the hot water is lighter than the cold water on the bottom. So the cold water stayed down here and the hot water stayed on top mm. and the color stayed with the different waters. Mm. Okay? Right? It's like magic. And that, I, just for a minute, any questions about that one? Because this one's kind of cool. Yes, I have a question. Yes. It's me. It's hey, Rocco. Rocco. How are you? Good. So, how did you make the cup into freezing cold water? I, I, I just used cold water from the, the tap. See, I have a, a pitcher of cold water. I just went to my faucet and took that. And I took hot water from my faucet. Yeah. And that's all I needed. The hot, it, the hot water was not enough that was a little bit different. Um, the one that you made with the, with the bottles, like the one that's in front of you right now. Yeah, this, this one? Yeah, like both of them, either one. Well, the, both of them had, they both had hot and cold water, 
But remember, cold water is heavier than hot water. It weighs oh. more. So when the hot water is on top and the cold water is on the bottom, the hot water is lighter and it stays up on top. And then this one, I put the hot water on the bottom and the cold water on top and the cold water fell down and the colors mixed. So that's why this one became green because the blue and the yellow mixed. This one, the yellow stayed on top, the blue stayed blue on the bottom. And what you'll see, I'm gonna leave this here for a little bit because as this gets cooler, right? Because the air, it's going to make this cooler, you will see that this will slowly become green because the hot water won't stay as hot. That's so cool. Okay. So I thought yeah. you guys might like this one. Yeah. Okay. So how, how, uh, how did you do it? How did I do it? Like, like, like how, how did you keep the green and stayed it like that. Uh, well, because this, because I have hot water up here and cold water down there. And that's, when, and that's all it is. The difference in the temperature of the water. That, 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 that is so, so weird. It is. That, it's, it's cool. It's cool, but we're gonna we're gonna leave this here for a little bit, and I think let me just see something. Just make it easier to see. Yeah, you see the little white behind it, it's blue on the bottom and the yellow on top. Yeah. And we're gonna leave this here, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, Dr. Planet. Yes. How did you make the? Uh, how did you make the? Um... Um, should we, should we uh, make a snowball? How to make a snow? Okay. That's a good question. Let's go back to the snowball. We're going to move this to the side a little bit. Hopefully, I won't make them fall. Okay. And here, I made a snowball. Whoa. There's, there's no water, and it looks like snow. <laughs> That's funny. But usually, usually, you usually mix snow come down. Well, that's right. That, that's the, 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 uh, the, um, the, uh, what do you, what do you put inside it again? So this, what this is, was, this was just some water. And then I had something here. It's called water storing crystals. It's water chemical, store, and, it's, and it's a safe chemical. I bought this at, at a plant store, and the little granules absorb all the water and it makes it look like snow. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Dr. Bennett. Okay, so mm -hmm. there we are. We made snow, and we made we made the colors. Wow, I see Shoshi raising your hand. You want to unmute yourself? So I have a question for Dr. Bennett. Yes. Um, so how do you uh, how do you make the colors like for like uh, the other cup in front of you? Like you mix all the colors in that cup. In this one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, the one you just made. Yeah. Yeah, this one I, I, I just put one on top of the other with hot water on top and yeah. cold water on the bottom. Ah, that would be the cool. That's such a yeah. such a, a creative. And what was the other other bottle? The other one, the, it was reversed. The hot water was on the bottom and the cold water was on top, and that's why they mixed. Right. Okay. And it so, made green. So you can so see you, it back there, right? Okay. Uh, hold on, hold no. on a second. Wait, wait, okay. wait, I'll be back. <laughs> mm. How are you doing, uh, how are you doing everybody? Good, thanks for asking. I'm mm -hmm. enjoying that science, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll my eyes closed, right here it is. Okay. I found it! 
Perfect. So how do you mix it all together with the bottle and stuff? Okay, wait, wait, here we go. Let's okay. put it, let's I'm do ready. it so you can, you can see the colors. I can see the color. Oh, you see the green? Yeah, yeah, it's either green. Okay, and it's green on top and green on the bottom. Yeah. But, and this yeah, one is yeah. blue on the bottom. Yeah. And yellow on top. So how do you mix all together? Is it, is it's, it it's a kind of liquid? As this gets cooler, okay, you'll watch. Yeah. Over, the, over this next couple of minutes, you'll start to see this will become green. Right, so you feel from the water from the bottle and, and then you put a food coloring and then, then you mix it, I then just, you mix it. Yeah, I just put food coloring in with the different colors. Like it, so you put in the food coloring in the bottle and then you mix all the colors in there, right? I put, I put the food coloring in and then I used a piece of plastic so I could hold the water in and then I put one yeah. on top of the other. So what's with the snow? The snow? Yeah. Here's, here's my snow. Oh, you have so much snow that you can put all the eyes into the bottle? Yeah, I can. I can I that was so cool. Make a little snowman. It's my first time. It's my first time starting. So, yeah. All right. All right. Let's do another, one, one other experiment. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. I, Let me see. Uh, I just want to see my new drawing myself. Uh, let me see which camera gives you the better view of the plate. Why are you using... Okay, everyone see the plate? Yeah, I see the plate. Okay, so I'm going to put in some milk. Yeah, you put the milk in the plate, yeah. Okay? okay. Also, I, don't have any, I don't have any cats, so it will stay there. <laughs> okay? Okay. And now, what I'm, else are you going to do with the plate? Here we go. Wait, wait. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to put a little soap on a Q-tip. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just leave this here for a second. Okay. And what else? But we're going to put in food coloring. So you're going to put a I food coloring instead of the milk. I don't think I can do mad science if I didn't have food coloring. <laughs> okay. You know? So I want to see how it turns out. So we're going to put in all different colors. So how many colors are you going to put in there, Dr. I'm going to put in all four colors. Like all four Three colors? Red and yellow yeah. and some blue. Some blue, yeah. And I think I even have some green. And some what? Okay. So good. Did everyone see that? Yeah, I can see that. And you see the colors kind of mm -hmm. all, so, yeah. all kind of just stay separate, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the colors kind of evaporated. Oh, they kind of what? a little bit. But watch what happens when I put the Q-tip with a little bit of soap. Yeah, I'm watching. You ready? Yeah, I'm yeah. ready. Whoa. That was Whoa. so cool. You're such a really good uh, math science fun. teacher. He put the cube to <laughs> which had what? What was on? Uh, different colors. All right, can you oh. see this? What was on? Uh, can you oh, see how, cool. it's, how all the colors are moving around? So cool. It's yeah, rainbow. I see the colors are moving. Yeah. Oh, I love rainbows. Isn't yeah. this pretty? You can make really nice. There was nothing on the Q tip? It's just a little bit of soap, a little so, bit of dish soap, yeah. and food coloring and milk. That's all this is. Milk. That's cute. That was so cool. I never did that before. Mm. This is my first time starting it. You can see all the colors still keep moving all over the place. Yeah. That's cool. And we that can come so over cool. here. Ooh. <laughs> Is it the first time that you're making it, Dr. Bennett? What's that? Is it the first time that you're making it? Well, I, I, I try all the experiments. When we're not doing this on Wednesdays, yeah. I try all these experiments to make sure they're going to work. So is it the first time doing it? First time I'm doing it for you guys. Oh, this is the first time with, with, with our guys. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's so awesome, right. Dr. Bennett. 
I like that. really, it. really cool, with Dr. Bennett. You're an amazing <laughs> teacher ever. No, this, yeah. this, I think this one, <laughs> do you guys remember the one with the Skittles? Yeah. I think this yeah. one and the Skittles are my favorite ones. <laughs> I get to sit in here. You know what this looks like? Has anyone ever had a kaleidoscope? No. Uh, Glasgow, yeah, uh -huh. I have, yeah, I have Glasgow. Remember that the, the, you look through them and they have um, you turn it and all the colors move all over. This mm, one not really. Of, of a of a kaleidoscope. I never heard of kaleidoscope before. So oh, yeah. can, I, Josh, can I explain to you? Sure. A kaleidoscope ha has many colors. So you turn it around and you see all the colors. Like, yeah, like, you see all the colors. Yeah, Max. <laughs> so you have to see all the rainbows in the, from the sky. All right. Uh, anyway, yeah, a lot of rainbows in the sky. You're right, Max. <laughs> I, 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 I really could look at this for hours, but I'll just leave this one alone. Yeah. You know, I'm going to put it yeah. over to the side. And we'll Gosh. look at the <laughs> That's so cool. That's it. And if you want to try that one at home, it's just food coloring, uh, milk, and uh, food coloring, milk, and a little salt on a Q-tip. You're really, really cool, teacher, Mr. Dr. Banner. Thank yeah. you. That's like a big compliment. I really yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. You guys ready for another one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see another one. Okay. Could I say something? Yes. Yeah, sure, Tali. You're going to be messed up now. It's really beautiful. It's really nice. All right. I'm, I'm going to do another experiment. I want you to tell her that. All right. Hold on a second. Let me put, let me put this. Can I not be oh. muted? I'll put this one over here because I want to if save you, this one. If you don't want to be muted, then just sit quietly. But it's hard to hear everyone. It's hard to hear Dr. Bennett's experiments if there's a lot of background noise. Nobody told me they went shopping. Not here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make some noise now. Here we go. This is, this is, kind, of, this is kind of fun. Mm, how old is this son? Okay, I'm going to just put in some water, a little bit of water, and my special ingredient, everyone ready? Da, 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 da. Red cabbage. Okay, and we're going to take some red cabbage. Hold it. I'm going to take the red cabbage and we're just going to tear it up, put it in the water in the blender. Okay. And I have to find the top to this now. I'm going to have to do it this way. We're just going to blend this up. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay, now. What's that going on? All right. Experimenting is very good, cute, very cute. Hold on a second. It's science. Uh, you I see where my, my wife put all the things. Here we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is strain, and just just to get the liquid part. It looks like it's uh, it looks like a smoothie, Dr. Bennett. It looks like what? Smoothie. It is. Smoothie. Almost looks like it, yeah. You know what? It looks like grape juice. 
all the glasses? Yes. Okay, so we're going to see all the glasses. Now I'm going to put the water in here. Some Sprite. Okay. Mm. Wait a second. Need more water. Okay. I'm gonna take some sugar and make a little sugar water. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. And now I'm gonna take some baking soda. And add some water. And I'm just going to take some vinegar. Vinegar. Right. Now this is, um, this you have to be careful with. This is bleach. Ugh. Okay. And then the last one is something called hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so we see that what color are all of these solutions? All these liquids here are what? They're, they're all clear, right? Mm -hmm. They all have no color. All right, now here's my question. Mm. Maybe, uh, Rockwell, maybe you can, uh, you can uh, take a survey. Okay. What do you think is going to happen when I pour purple into each one of these glasses that is clear in color? Do you think it's going to stay, they're all going to turn purple or they're not all going to turn purple? Mm. Okay, we're going to launch the poll and just launch. All of them are going to turn purple. All right, let's open the poll. Let's see what's going to happen. I think they're not going to be the same color. Okay. All right, guys. You, in one second, you're going to get something on your screen that's going to ask you the question. There's two options. It says, what will happen when we add in the purple cabbage water? Is it going to either all stay purple or are they going to change colors? So look at your computer now, and you could click which one you think it's going to be, and you could vote. Okay, right now you got a couple people saying that's going to change colors. Ooh, uh, oh, it's a tie now. We Right now, Dr. Bennett, we have a 50-50. 50-50? Exact 50-50. Oh, wow. People say <laughs> that it's going to stay purple, and the other 50% say it's going to change colors. Okay. Oh, oh wait, it's not it's not even anymore. No. <laughs> okay, now we have 60-40. So we have 60% think that all of the cups are going to stay purple and 40% think that they're all going to change colors. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, if you didn't get your vote in, this is your last chance. Let's stop at one minute. Okay, uh, yep. Last chance if you want to get your vote in and Okay, that's it. We got 60, 40. More people think that the cups will stay purple. Did everyone vote? Almost everybody voted. So it's pretty uh, 60, 40. That's it. Okay. So let me, let me uh, 
close this. All right, let's see what happens. So everyone can see the glasses, right? Mm -hmm. This is the first one, and this one was just water. And we put in, and what happened? It turned purple. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. This one was striped. <gasps> what color? Uh -oh. Pink. The purple became red. Oh, that's pink. Well, yeah, like a reddish pink. Reddish pink, right? So purple stayed. This one turned. Uh, I see blue and red. This one. Now this one I think was sugar. Okay, so this one stayed the deep purple. This one the blue. Purple. I think it's gonna turn into a rainbow. Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens here. All right, I'll make a note. This one turned a a full blue. Let me let me put some white behind it. Okay. This one, right? Kind of purplish, pinkish red, purple. This one is blue. All right, I forgot what. what oh, this one I think was vinegar, right? <laughs> the vinegar turned bright red. This one was the bleach. It's gonna turn. Okay. Now watch the watch the bleach. What color is it turning? It's orange. Turning orange. But well, we're going to watch that one. This one's the hydrogen peroxide. Oh, wow. That one turned like a magenta. So oh. here is the original color. All right, I'm going to add some water to it so that it, it, it's kind of diluted like the rest of them. This is the original color of the cabbage. And look what happened to it in, in water. It's, it's about the same. In Sprite, it turned pink. Yeah, it's fun. It turned a little bit bluish. In the baking soda, it turned a real blue. In vinegar, Turn actually like an orange. And the bleach, the color went away. Oh. So what happens when you when you do laundry and you put bleach in? It takes away the stain. It takes away the color, right? It's yeah. Here. And the same thing happened here with the. Hydrogen peroxide. That's the both white bleaches, they both take, take the color out. So that's what I, 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 I like this one. Almost as much as the milk. But you can see from the red cabbage, depending upon what we put the liquid in, it changed the different colors across the board. Let's see. It comes to make a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow. We don't have a green, but we got a blue and a violet. Yeah, we, we made a rainbow. Um, Dr. Bennett. Yes. Have I, have I, have I use a use a blue color instead to make a rainbow? I don't know what would happen with the food coloring. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll try it next week. Yeah, try and use, use, use green with yeah. the maybe, we can, maybe we can try that next week. Yeah, I actually can try that one. I remember. What may happen is the food color won't change color, but because the, the, of the, um, the chemicals in. The, the the purple of the cabbage, right? The reason it's purple is that there are organic compounds, organic molecules in the food, like 
a leaf is green because it's there's something called chlorophyll, which makes it green. Right. So cabbage has something in it, and when it goes in the different solutions, it's a chemical reaction, and it changes it changes the colors of it. Mm. I think for food coloring, it may not do that, but I'll, I'll, I'll check it. Maybe we'll call it next time. All right. Thank you, Dr. Bennett. So, let's just go back quickly. I just want to show this. It, you can see, remember this one? The color, the, the green is starting to go both in the top and the bottom. See? Yeah, I see it. As the water gets cooler, it mixes a little more, and then over time, it will become, it will become totally green. All right, so I think that's about all I've got for you today. This was super cool. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Bennett. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed it again. I, I want to let you guys know. Oh, hold on, Dr. Bennett. Just something. thank you. And this is the truth. This is, and this is the truth. I look forward to Wednesdays to do my mad science with all of you. I really, I really enjoy doing this, and I'm glad that you come. Thank you, Dr. Bennett. Thanks, Dr. Bennett. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.